What's up? This is At Lodge Autor. Welcome to another record review. Today I'm going to be talking about a vinyl that I'm very, very excited about. Arm & Hammer's Harem. And this album was produced by The Alchemist. It's one of the first times Arm & Hammer's went outside of their backwoods bubble for production. Mastered by Steel Tip Doves, Arm & Hammer's the group combination of Billy Woods and Elucid. Billy Woods is incredible. I love his album Hiding Places and Elucid is also just a great rapper and compliments Billy really well. And there's really not enough I can say about this. I almost have had this whole album memorized. They're the most pensive Edgar Allan Poe-esque rappers I've ever seen. Just so serious, so beautiful. This shit is pure poetry. I feel like it's going to go above a lot of people's heads. But this delivers intellectually and emotionally. Just to the highest level. Alchemist production the delay and just just the overall way it progresses Sir Benny Miles I think is the intro and that just sets the greatest tone just so dark it's like you're watching like a band FBI tape or something and just the whole aesthetic of this album is incredible it's so dark it's so raw it's so gritty I've been listening to a lot of Griselda and this kind of came out of left field and this is one of those I had no idea who Arm and Hammer was and Sir Benny Miles came up on my recommendation. I had already ordered this vinyl before I had even finished that song. And I just, what, I just that whole night, I just was watching their videos over and over. I mean, you gotta have permission to have an issue with me. When Elucid said that, I was like, oh my God, I gotta get this album. I mean, <sighs> Billy Wood's lyricism, Stone Fruit, the way they ended this is one of my favorite songs, just, uh, Pavement gave way to a thicket of thalls, thicket of thorns, where my body lay naked as the day I was born. She rocked my teeth in a necklace, drew blood from a horn, ruby wove base and mecca head, disheveled and torn. She put my heart in a ditch, she leave, um, she finished on top, she did it for the, I don't know, this, I, I'm lost on that, but this whole record, like, Every, oh, it's just so poetic. Just the whole thing is so poetic. From th This has the best intro track of any rap album in 2020. And the best outro track of any rap album in 2020. I'd say this is like an instant classic. It's, when I think hardcore rap, I think of this album. Nothing tops it. This is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Honestly, they made the album of 2020. The only album I would say... I'd say Hitler Wears Hermes 8 by West Side Gun is a little bit more epic than this album. But this is just one of the greatest albums ever made, rap-wise. I mean, I'm hooked. I listen to their older projects, and I'm obsessed with their older projects. I just love their synergy between Billy Woods and Elucid. I've even looked into all of Backwoods since seeing this project. That's how good this was. When, when, a, when a record is so good from an unknown artist that you go and listen to everything that's ever been released on their label, you know it was fire. So, this just shone a light into the Brooklyn scene, which is not something I was paying attention to. And yeah, just an incredible album. The back is really explicit too. Um, <sighs> Chicharrones, just, my favorite tracks are probably, oh, they had Earl Sweatshirt. I didn't even think about the Earl Sweatshirt song. That song is like a little respite. And it kind of gave a picture into what I should have expected with Earl's 2010 album. Just like a little bit of breath of fresh air. And the Earl song in this, I'm trying to think, Falling from the Sky is so good. So good. This has three of the best rap songs. I mean, phew, uh, Scaffolds. Jesus. Scaffolds. I mean... This album is so good. Go listen to it.